my pal, Lori Masterton of Lori's Gourmet Comfort Food in downtown Asheville, North Carolina. And Lori loves bees. In fact, her new cookbook is all about honey. Yum! Scooter, did you know that bees are responsible for a third of the things that we eat, like avocados and fruit and nuts, all kinds of things. Wow! Yeah. Gee, Lori, I heard that there's a problem and that the colonies of the bees are starting to collapse and that bees are going homeless, like me and my pal Boots. That is true, but there's things you can do, Scooter. For one thing, you can buy and use local honey. Okay. You can plant gardens that have flowers that bees like so they can make honey. And the most important thing is uh -huh. never use pesticides because honeybees are not pests. They're our friends and they make lots of food. Guess what? What? I'm going to make a recipe for you today using my bees' <gasps> honey and beef. Beef bones. We're calling them deviled beef bones. And you're going to really like them. You said beef. Bones! Beef bones! Oh, this sounds wonderful! I'm dreaming! Basically, Scooter, the magic is in the barbecue sauce for these deviled beef bones. And in this case, I'm using honey that my bees made. It's award-winning, and it's called Stony Knob Gold. Oh, Lori! Ah, oh, my mouth is watering! Where did you get all these bones. Well, I saved them for whenever I made a rib roast at my restaurant. However, you can get them at the grocery store or at your butcher. Oh my goodness, Lori, do you think you could um, spare some of these spare ribs? Ah, I'm way ahead of you, Scooter. I've got some for your doggy bag and I'm gonna put some extra honey in there too. Wow, thank you so much. I promise to share it with Boots and I promise to help the bees. Thank you, Lori. Thank you, Scooter, and thanks to your friend Boots, too. Bye-bye. Mm. Oh, Boots, wait, you gotta see what I found. This is so cool, Boots. Boots, Boots, come here.